Hello, I'm Chris Menard. I use Microsoft Outlook all the time. I use the desktop version, but I also love Outlook on the web. So today I'm going to share with you five tips that may change the way you work with Microsoft Outlook. I'm going to go ahead and get started. I've already signed into my Outlook account. So for tip number one, if you notice, I'm on my inbox and I have a lot of emails addressed directly to me, but also have a lot of emails that aren't that important to me. So, inbox, like I've got something from B at H, Ally Bank. Here's my inbox. I love the focus inbox. It will make your inbox into two tabs, one called focused, one called other. So those are the two tabs. Really simple. Up in the top right, Outlook on the web is settings. Click it once, and here it is, focused inbox. Notice again it says inbox right now. I'm going to click this. So now I've got focus tab, and I have the other tab. So the focused is what Microsoft determined is really important to me, and other, I'll let you see that. I don't care. Um is emails that aren't that important, but technically they're still in my inbox. One bonus tip, if you need to move something from other, because Microsoft determined this is not that important, just right click it, go to move, and there you go. I can move it to the focused inbox or always move to focused inbox so all emails from that person will go to focused. The same thing applies if I was on focused. A right click on focus would allow me to move it to other or always move to other. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is actually right here too. After you come up here and go to settings, I'm a big fan of dark mode. I usually work this way during the day. I find it to be easier on my eyes, but there is dark mode. You can turn it on and off. I'll leave it off right now since I'm recording. The third tip, you're going to love this one, there are ideal times during the day to send an email. For example, if I sent a business email Saturday afternoon to someone, Monday morning if they come in, it's going to be way down at the bottom of their inbox. So what you can do is when you do a new message, I'm going to send an email to Carol Martin. I'm not going to type anything in the message just to keep this easy for right now. Notice here, send at the top. It would send it immediately. But the send below the body of the email gives you an option to send this later. When you do a send later, you can pick the date. You can pick the time. It will end up in your drafts. I have zero emails in my drafts right now. So if I do a send later, I can pick whatever day I want, but I'm going to keep it for today's date. It's currently 7.41 in the morning. I'm going to make this for, instead of 8 o'clock, it wants to do 30-minute increments. I'm going to do 7.44. Send. Watch it go to drafts. If you needed to cancel the send or edit the email, you would simply come to drafts, click that email, the message is scheduled to send on 8:19 at 7:44. I could cancel the send right here, but I'm going to leave it. So, focused inbox, dark mode, uh, send later. Item number four, I love also. If you receive an email from someone and you know you need to answer it, or it's an important email, but you don't have time to answer it right now, you can snooze the email. I'm going to show you how this works, but I can already tell, I was playing with this, that very first email is a snoozed email, because if you notice the clock up there, that is how a snoozed email shows up. So let's say, as an example, uh, this email, I'm going to take this one right here, dinner this week. So I'm just going to simply right click it. I could also come up here to snooze. I can right click it in snooze or you can use snooze up here. I'll use snooze up here later today, this evening, but you can actually pick your own date and time again. Choose a date, 
I'll pick today's date. What time? Again, just for testing purposes. It is now 7.43. So let's make this 7.45 a.m. Let's see if this works. Snooze. If you notice, the email went away. It shows up in scheduled. But at whatever time I picked, it will go to the top of my email list. And it'll have that icon that you see right now for the first one. So that is a snoozed email. And finally, so focused inbox, dark mode, delay, snooze. Um, I'm sorry, delay is called send later. Snooze was for the last item I have for you today. Probably my favorite. This is probably my favorite. Undo send. You can set it by default. An email goes immediately when you hit send. In Outlook on the web, you can do what's called undo send. I can set this for five seconds or 10 seconds. It gives you time after you hit send if you really don't want that email to go. Maybe I forgot to add someone to the two line or the CC line. Maybe I forgot to do an attachment. Maybe I accidentally hit send and didn't mean to, which has happened to me before. So let me show you where undo send is. Settings. It's all the way at the bottom. View all Outlook settings. It is on Mail, Compose, and Reply. Scroll down just the tad. Yes, I had Undo Send set for five seconds right here. Here is your default. Zero. It goes immediately. I can even make this five seconds, and there's ten seconds. It almost looks like you could pick six, seven, or eight. It doesn't. It's just five seconds or ten seconds. I'm going to hit save. One more test to show you how this works now. So I'm doing a new email. Carol. I hit send. Watch this. Oh, I didn't mean to send it. I need to add someone to the email. There is undo. It pops the email back up. Add somebody to the email. Attach a file, whatever it is. Maybe I need to type some more text. You can keep doing send, undo as many times as you want. I'll go ahead and send this email though. I do want to point out why I'm sending this. The snooze that I did for dinner this week is now up at the top. So that worked. Also the delay sent work because I don't have anything in my drafts and I have nothing in my scheduled. So there you go. So all the features I just showed you work. I wanted to keep this to five features with Outlook on the web. I've actually got another 10 features that I love, but I want to keep the video short. Appreciate your time. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions about Outlook, whether on the web, the desktop, your mobile device, feel free to put them in the comments down below. Thank you.